folks, welcome to grade seven science. So you know we're in our interactions and ecosystem unit. So you've learned a little bit about biotic factors, abiotic factors, but now we're really gonna get into our environment and the way that um, things flow in our environment and how we interact with our environment. So my first question for you today is, how do we as humans impact our environment? Does anyone know? Yeah. Climate change. Okay, climate change, yeah. So that would be maybe like gases in the atmosphere and what that has to do with our ozone layer. Yeah. Consuming resources. Consuming resources, definitely. Anything else? Yeah. Waste and pollution. Okay, waste and pollution. Um, some of the things I directly thought about is stuff to do with trees. So in grade six, you kind of learned a lot about trees and forests and you learned um, just about photosynthesis and how carbon dioxide and oxygen um, happen in that process. And so my first thought was um, clear cutting and forests. And like the thing within Alberta, which is really interesting if you guys ever wanted to get into um, forestry, is that the, about 400,000 jobs in Alberta are in forestry. So that's about one in 14 people. So if you're walking down the street and you count 14 people, probably one of those people are, um, has a job in forestry, which is really important. So um, make sure you have all your notes and stuff out because we're gonna be going through our hydro hydrologic system. Okay, so what does hydrologic mean, guys? Spelled like this? Water something. Nice, water. I heard it. <laughs> hydrologic equals water, specifically the movement of water. Okay, so H2O also stands for water. I know you know this because it's in a lot of pop culture, so I'm going to shorten it there. So if I talked about the hydrologic system, what do you think we would talk about today? Yes? Evaporation. Okay, so maybe some terms like evaporation. I'll put that on the board because we will talk about that. But in general, what do you think the hydrologic system has to do with? Where water goes. Where water goes, definitely. Where it comes from. Nice, where water goes. The cycle. Nice, it comes from. I want to say it, <laughs> Our, sure. The cycle of water, okay? So that's what we're gonna talk about. Our hydrologic system is our cycle of water, okay? So, you guys all have a chance to be artists today. You're welcome. And while you're drawing a very pretty picture, I'm gonna tell you a joke, okay? So, why can't a river remember anything? Because it's senile. Because it's a senile, and that means crazy for all of you young folks who don't, don't know what senile means. <laughs> now, to be honest, I did just look that up, but there's 90 more jokes like that on Google if you wanna go on after class, because I know you do. So at the top, we're gonna write our hydrologic system. And what I want you to do is I want you to draw some trees. We have our pretty trees here, right? Maybe put some apples on the tree. Apple's my favorite tree. Let's have some grass. How about some clouds? What else should we have in our cycle, do you think? Lakes. Oh, okay, lakes. So maybe maybe some ocean down here and some lakes. Let's label this ocean. What else? Yep. Mountain. Oh, perfect. I was thinking the same thing. Let's have some mountains. And like maybe some snow. Does that look like snow? Yep. Yep. Okay. You guys are really nice. <laughs> okay, what else? Maybe sun? Yeah. Sun's kind of fun in our picture. What else? Anything else? Anything else we should have here? Maybe some like, let's just have like a hill. Okay. So this is our picture, okay? And we're gonna we're gonna see what water has to do with this picture. So I heard evaporation. Where what what is evaporation, guys? Does anyone know? It's kind of a big word. It's tossed around a lot. What is evaporation? Turn into a gas. Okay. Okay. That's very 
good definition. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> when liquid turns to vapor, what is vapor? Does anyone know? A, a, vapor? a gas? A gas. Yeah, it's a gas. So now that we know what evaporation is, where would that be in our pretty picture? The ocean. The ocean, ocean? The to okay. the sky. The ocean to the sky. Okay. So this is where we think evaporation would be? Uh -huh. Okay, let's label it. Evap, for short. Okay, what are some other um, words in here that would describe the way water moves? So we have water going from the ocean to the sky, which means water's going from the ocean to our atmosphere, right? Does anyone know what atmosphere means? Yes. No. no? Oh, like, okay. It's surrounding us, which is actually really good. About um, atmosphere is the gases surrounding our planet. So is that just like what we call air then? Yeah. So it could include air, but there could be other gases around here. We're not going to get into that. But that is kind of our definition of atmosphere. So gases surrounding our planet. Okay, so we have evaporation, which is water going to our atmosphere. What are some other things? Transpiration. Oh, okay, transpiration. Do you want to explain transpiration? Just say rain. Ooh, rain, okay. That's easier stuff. <laughs> do, you know, do you know the word for rain though? Rain? Oh, you guys are so smart. <laughs> so we got some rain here. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I love rain. I love the smell after rain. It's amazing. Precipitation. Precipitation. Something like that. Let's define that though. What is precipitation? Yes, sir. Rain. Okay. Yeah, that's snow. Done and done. Rain. <laughs> snow. Rain. Um, Snow, sleet, snow, sleet, hail, hail. Something, else? something coming from something else. Something coming from something is it, else. Is it the water in the air? Turbulence? What about how about liquid coming from yeah, something else? Liquid, liquid, liquid sure. coming down from yeah. the atmosphere. Let's go with that. Liquid coming down from. I'm gonna abbreviate atmosphere ATM. Atmosphere. Okay. So we have our precipitation. I heard from you, sir, transpiration. Yeah. Where do you guys think, or where do you think transpiration is in our picture, or what is it? Yes, sir. When water comes down from the mountain. No, actually, it's not. That's a good <laughs> guess. We're going to actually talk about that. That's called snow melt. So our snow up here, my pretty snow, when our snow melts, it comes off the mountain, and that's called snow melt. But that's a really good one. Anyone else? Transpiration? Yes, ma'am. Maybe from the trees? Ooh, do you know what how it deals with the trees? N nope. Not really? That's okay. Yes, sir. It sounds like perspiration. Is there anything kind of similar? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the the roots yeah. the roots from the trees. Thank you. So when humans sweat, it's called perspiration, mm. right? So we're actually getting um, liquids or waters of our body. And that's very similar to plants. So if you're walking in a forest and you're just enjoying the day and you're smelling the grass and trees and it feels a little damp or, may, or maybe a little humid, that's actually the trees sweating out water. Okay, so that's them expelling water. So let's have our, let's have our transpiration going up. Back to our atmosphere. Our working definition that we'll use, um, that you'll want to write in your notes, is when water, ready, H2O, meaning water, leaves, I'm sorry it's going to get messy, but I know you can read it, when, when water leaves plants and enters the atmosphere. Okay, cool. So let's just review what we have. Oh, what's your question, it, sir? So when it leaves a tree, is it a liquid or is it a gas? Ooh, okay, thank you. Yeah, it's actually going to be a gas. Okay, so if it, let's say if, if it left as water, 
that it, it couldn't leave through the atmosphere, right? Because our atmosphere is gases. And so it would have to be a gas to be to be a part of our atmosphere. Yeah. So just make sure that we go back to this definition here. Um, okay, so we have our evaporation, which is what? I know you know it. Water turning into a gas. Water turning into a gas going into our atmosphere. And then we have our precipitation, which is Water falling from liquid. The sky. Liquid falling from the sky. Yeah, thank you. And then our transpiration. Plants sweating. Nice. And then I didn't write it here, but snow melt. What's that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, when the snow melts from the mountains and then it comes down. Nice. Okay, we're actually going to talk about that snow melt. So when our snow comes down from the mountains and then it gets to, let's just say, you know, our main floor with some trees and whatnot. And then water runs to the ocean or two lakes. Does anyone know what that's called? When water runs over a surface. Yes. Runoff? It's called runoff, yeah. Does anyone know why runoff could be good or not good? Yeah. Uh, well, it could be not good because like farms use chemicals and chemicals could leach into the ocean. Yeah, definitely. So maybe, you know, me, I love hiking, right? Miss ba Mrs. Babies loves hiking, so I go for my hike and I leave some pollution behind, or I leave some cans behind, and then this water will carry all of my pollution to the ocean and pollute the ocean. Or like you said, chemicals, right? Like maybe we leave some chemicals, all that chemicals is going to our ocean, which is effect affecting the ecosystem there, the pH there, which is really important. Um, but why could it be a good thing? Yeah. Water supply for humans. Definitely, yeah. So, do you think this the snow up here is pretty clean? Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. That it could be pretty clean. So, if it's not polluted and it runs off into a lake, that is um, a pretty good water source, or even a river, right? That's a pretty good water source for us humans. Yeah. Okay. So, what else do we have in our pretty picture there? Anything else? How does the water vapor make rain? Ooh, that's a good question. So when our water vapor, it goes into a cloud here. And then I'm not gonna go into the details of it because you guys don't really need to know that yet. And I'm gonna save that for teachers in the future. But when that water goes into a cloud, some, some reactions, some, some changes are happening in there. And then that water is then converted to precipitation, either in the form of rain, snow, sleet, or hail, okay? So we look at this. This is a pretty good um, cycle of water. Um, how do you think us humans impact this cycle? What are some ways? Yeah. Dams. Ooh, okay, so we. what is a dam? Do you know? A water blocker. Okay, so we build up a dam. Let's say we build up a dam here, and then there's like no water right there. Are we the only ones that build dams? No. No. Who else builds dams? Beavers. Beavers. Yeah, beavers. And do you know what? If I had more time, I'd tell you all about the beaver, one of my favorite animals. It's really cool. But yeah, so dams can block this cycle. What else? What about just the overuse of water? So a couple years ago, I was in Las Vegas, and I was in Lake Mead. And Lake Mead is so warm, you guys. Like, I love swimming in it because I don't like cold. And you go swimming and it doesn't even feel like a lake. It is so warm. And so I go swimming and there's all these, not mountains, but like almost mountains surrounding it because you're kind of in a valley. And so you see the water levels drop in this lake because Lake Mead is right outside of Las Vegas. And Las Vegas is using all of that water up in Lake Mead so it, it used to go, let's say this is, let's say this is Lake Mead, and these are like the mountains surrounding it, and it used to be here, and now you get rid of all this water that's right here. And you can tell because this is discolored from the water. So a lot of that is being used by humans, and that's a really big way that we impact the water cycle. How much time do I have? 30 seconds, 20 seconds. Okay, cool. That's it, guys. <laughs>